Okay, guys, I have a very impressive guitar today that I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so this is a 1963 Hummingbird, Gibson Hummingbird, and this guitar is in for a restring, so I do not own this guitar. This is a customer's restring, 1963 Hummingbird. I get to put new strings on this thing, and this guitar has an amazing story behind it. So uh, let's throw this thing up on the bench, very, very delicately lay it up on the bench. And uh, let's put some new strings on it. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, 1963... Hummingbird. And you guys are like, okay, Dane, what's the big deal? Uh, well, this guitar once belonged to Paul McCartney's guitar player, Brian Ray. So, so Brian Ray is currently Paul McCartney's guitar player. And this guitar... This guitar used to belong to him. So there is a video where Mark Agnesi interviewed Brian Ray and it's called the, the Gibson Collection. And Mark Agnesi went over there to California and they visited with Brian Ray and they looked at Brian's guitar collection and this was in that uh, video. It's Mapleback Hummingbird. And this was owned by a, a woman named Lynn who's a... Uh, so super cool to know that this toured with McCartney. This was at Brian Ray's house. It's part of that Gibson collection video. This is that very same guitar. There's a good chance Paul McCartney might have touched this thing at one time. Got a real quick story. Um, Brian Ray was talking about the woman or the girl that used to own this guitar where she went to the University of Minnesota and it's on the case. I have the case right here. But yeah, this is a cool, cool guitar. And for some reason, Brian decided to sell it. And through Instagram or something, my buddy Johnny that owns this, he said that I could do a video about it. I said, dude, I'll put strings on it for free, man. And he's like, okay, okay, I'll bring it in. And so I'm here very early this Monday morning to do this video uh, before any customers come in here. Because this is an expensive guitar. Not like worried that it's going to get stolen or anything. You know, knock on wood. But uh, I just wanted to do this video and get it back to Johnny. As soon as possible. You know, so that it's safe and it gets back home real safe. So Johnny's coming back in a, in a couple of hours to pick this thing up. But I wasn't about to work on this video on a Saturday when there's a whole bunch of people in the store and tons of guys back here, you know, talking about whatever. And, you know, we, we have to keep this one nice and safe and everything. So, 1963. And if you guys want to go to and watch that Gibson video, I highly recommend it. It's a great video. Brian seems like a super cool guy. So I'm not going to get crazy with this guitar and do a lot of stupid stuff to it. I'm not going to try to shine the frets too much or anything like that. Definitely not going to get in there and adjust on the truss rod. 
I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of that, uh, where did I put it? It's this uh, Gibson, Gibson polish. Okay, this is what I sprayed on a rag. I think it's safe. Not going to do the F1 oil on it or anything like that. It looks really nice as far as overall condition of the fretboard. Let me get you in here real quick so you guys can look at the dove. It's not a dove. You guys can look at the hummingbird. They also made these in doves. And we can look close at the frets and the fretboard. And I'll let you get in here and see the headstock and everything. But yeah, this is the real deal, 1963. They made a lot of doves in 63, but they also made these hummingbirds. Today's string choice. Today's string choice. We've got some elixirs today. Some 11 gauge long life elixir nanoweb 11 through 52s. Gonna put some good high quality strings on this one. Take a look at the bridge and it still looks like it's in nice condition. You know, one thing that all you guys are, might be interested in seeing is, is the top. Is it starting to, to have a hump in it? Is it flat? I'm just going to lay my straight edge right here and let's see what you guys think. Okay, yeah, so... It's got a little bit right here. It's kind of high. All guitars do that, and, you know, something, again, from 1963. This guitar is almost older than I am. I just really wanted to show this one to you guys. If I can get a cool guitar like this in to do a video on it and show you guys. I am all about it. Now the neck or the nut feels great. You run your thumb across the side there, it feels really nice. This is a quality instrument. Not sure why Brian decided to sell it, but he did. And, uh, <clears throat> and um, I also heard, and I don't know what uh, the price of this thing was or anything like that. And what kind of a deal uh, Brian ended up giving Johnny. But Johnny was able to do it, and Johnny said, hey, he didn't inflate the price because, you know, he's in McCartney's band, and he's a, a huge rock star. He didn't inflate the price when he sold this. He sold this at the same price that all of the 6,300 birds are going for. So it was not an inflated price. So Johnny was able to get a rock star's guitar. A regular, average guy price, which is amazing. The tuners are a little bit stiff. They're a little hard to turn. I don't think there's anything. Well, I could, if I had some nice oil or something. These are the old... Um, Cluson style deluxe tuners that you could put a little drop down in there, but I don't have anything like that. But you could put a little drop of oil down in these. 
I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the bare minimum on this one. Basically to show you guys this beautiful guitar. And, you know, it's a real fun little story. And again, so this is a customer's guitar. It is not currently for sale. Don't call me and say, hey man, I wanna... Zim, you still got that 63 Gibson? No, don't call me and do that. I love that you guys call me. Feel free to call me anytime, guys. My phone's ringing a lot lately. I really appreciate the viewers that I get and the views that I get. And it's not like my phone number is some secret. You guys can Google my store, Zim's Guitars, and you can find my number right there. And I usually answer it. I'm still the old school guy that when his phone rings, he answers it. Make sure that I don't freaking break anything or screw this up. I would hate if one of these tuner uh, buttons came off or broke or something. That wouldn't be good. Basically, I need to just get this last string on here, tune this thing up. I mean, look at the bridge pins. Look at how look at how uh, how crooked that thing is. All the years of of uh, tension on that thing these guys are barely hanging in there but these are the original ones but I'm a little nervous even touching this thing I do not want to screw this thing up okay good and let's tune this thing. There's our low E string. Standard tuning. nervous this is an expensive guitar although one time I played a uh, 1960 Gibson Les Paul that was valued at two hundred thousand dollars really nice guy actually brought that into my store one day a couple years ago Okay, that's as good as I'm going to get it right there, guys. Let's throw it up on my knee. Let's listen for a second.
sing a song about Mark Agnesi right now. Play authentic. But then he'd sue me if I did something. Alright, there it is guys, a 1963 Hummingbird, beautiful guitar, I gotta put this thing back in its case, I don't wanna, I don't wanna put fingerprints on it or anything, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.